And okay, here we are. Hello and welcome to another short installment about the Max Impact Traumatic Brain Injury Assistant. That's brought to you by the Washington Department of Veterans Affairs and the Washington Traumatic Brain Injury Council. In this short presentation, we are going to take a longer look at the tools that we call play. So there are a few ways to get to the play tool. The first is you can go straight there by using the home page button and or you can find your way there by checking in and it might it's going to probably pop up as one of those things that we say are a thing to try. And you can always reach it by tapping the small button at the bottom of any page as you see right there. However you get there, you're going to end up seeing this particular page. Now it may say it sound odd to hear that play and tools in the same sentence, but what you're going to find in this section is actually play for a purpose. So let's, let's take a look at this particular page. From this page, you are going to have a number, you can have three different selections. All of the games live on the phone. That means that unlike other games on your phone, they don't need to connect with the internet. There are no subscriptions. There's no need to log in, nothing. When it comes to Basic brain talk. If we're trying to help the brain recover, we're helping the brain strengthen. We're helping the brain stay healthy. And such kind of things, the most common suggestion is use it, but don't stress it. We want to be able to engage the brain and keep it you know, active, but we don't want to stress it out. Basically, we want to use those parts of our brain we want to work better, but not in a way that it makes matters worse. So what better way to do that than with a game. A lot of research has been done in relation to brain games, and most of it comes down to one thing. It's probably helping, it's definitely not hurting. So, play on. The first game that we're gonna look at is one of the most popular according to those that regularly use the app, and that would be the picture match. Uh, before you start, you're gonna be asked which level of difficulty you want, the picture on the next slide is off of the medium level. The game is, as it sounds, match the pictures, and each level has more pictures to match. It's really just a memory game that will help activate all of those spots in your brain related to memory. Memory is really a skill, so that we, meaning that we need to keep using it to make sure that it is at its best. Before you start, you're going to be asked what level of difficulty, and so like I said, the picture here is from the medium level. Uh, the game is as it sounds, match those pictures, okay? The, all the games have in common the idea that though they may sound and look simple, they are anything but. What you do is you tap a tile, and a picture is going to be revealed. Somewhere under that, somewhere under the other tiles, there is a picture that match. Tap a tile and see if they match. And if they do, they will stay revealed. If they don't match, they will both turn over again. So you must remember what picture was, where it was, to match them up. So as you can see, there you know, so, as, so as you can see, what's going? It, there's more and more underneath the tiles. The more difficult that is going to become. You got to take a phone call or take a break. Go ahead and pause the game. There's a big pause button at the bottom. You want to see how you're improving. Keep track of your time when you finish and try and do better the next time. Simple as that, try it out. The next game to choose is the Spot the Difference game. The Spot, the, the, um, the last game was all about memory. This game is really all about focus and concentration. The same principle, if you're having trouble with focus and concentration, Kind of flex that brain muscle by playing this game to increase your brain power and keep it strong. So here's the general idea. You're going to be presented with four pictures to choose from. Once you choose one of those pictures, you're going to be presented with two versions of that picture. And all you have to do is spot the differences. Some might seem obvious, but keep at it. It's going to get harder. Tap the differences, and if you're right, it'll be boxed in both pictures, as you can see here, okay? Um, this game is also gonna be a bit of a, uh, this game is also a bit of a memory challenge because if you find them all, come back in a few weeks and actually see if you can remember. 
The last game that is going to be the probably the most challenging that you're going to find on the app, and this is actually this is called the picture recall game. This game is also all about memory and concentration. What you're going to happen is first you're going to be presented with a choice of pictures to try. Once you choose one, you want to study it carefully. Take as much time as you need, and then tap that start button. Once you tap that start button, the, the whole picture is going to be covered with those tiles. Um, with one of those pictures being exposed above, as you see on the top right there. Okay? Can you remember where that picture belongs? If you can, tap that tile, and if you're right, it'll stay exposed. If you're wrong, it'll get covered up again. And you get another chance to try. Keep at this until all of you, until you've exposed the entire picture. Like with the picture match, you can pause this game. And like that, you can also challenge yourself to get better and better times. Don't disregard this game because it looks easy. It is a real challenge. If you think you're, if you think you're a real pro, Try the spices picture. It will it will it will uh, tell you if you're a pro or not. The game section can be a place to have some fun, some relaxation, and all of it with giving the brain some exercise it needs in a fun and challenging way. So thanks for watching. This actually brings us to the end of this really super brief presentation about the games section on our Max Impact. Brain Injury Assistant app from the Washington Department of Veterans Affairs and the Traumatic Brain Injury Council of Washington. There's more to come. Check out the rest of the features with other presentations or explore on your own from here. Thanks for watching.